journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the daily soybean oil. This was a, uh, when we had our show here uh, last week uh, on the 8th, uh, excuse me, <laughs> on the 11th. I can't believe it's the 13th already. You notice now we're down hard three days in a row, and we're setting at the same level that this was right here. You notice that? That comes in really, really good. And also, that is a, uh, wow, that's a big move, folks. It's $2,300 move. We covered this uh, this morning. We said if you get back down to this level to take it off, and it did. It made a lower low here this morning at uh, 44.66, and I probably should have said to probably go long there, but I didn't. The reason why, there's two reasons. One, there's your old high, and so you come back and test that with that kind of harmony three days down. I know this was seven days down, but I, I think it was worth uh, the, to cover the position. Uh, we, you know, we've had some big runs here in, in uh, the British pound and hogs and uh, – uh, several others I can't think of them off my oh the Brit uh, the British pound and hogs and gold we had a really good move in gold in fact look at the gold today on an intraday basis I put this up here because those of you that do intraday trade this is what you want to look for there's your high end bonds this is a, every 13 minutes rallies up right to the 13 remember we exited all of our positions from 15 25 we ever we exited those at 117 and 1 and 118 those were our two profit objectives and now look we're coming down we're very close to taking out the old low down here folks at that 115 and change level and boy when we get below that that's going to be one nasty little puppy in in my opinion of course opinions are like armpits here's another one we're very bearish to gold look at this beautiful pattern today you're down for two and a half hour or two hours you rally right up to the 382 it actually makes the the 50 percent the difference is only at uh two dollars and so uh now it's made look at this this just in today, I mean, this, this is a huge amount of money, folks. That's uh, well over $2,000, and it's still dropping. That's the incredible thing. And look at the look at the British pound that we've been in for uh, quite a while. What I said to them, I said, we're getting really close to this level down in here so that you can even cover right in here. And so what I decided to do is because I had that 1.618 expansion right here, and we sold these, believe it or not, well, you've heard it before. And we sold it up here, and we're buying it right here, folks. That's uh, 17 handles. 17 times 6. You, you do the math, okay? So that's what we're paying attention here. And this is the other reason why I took it off was because of this one point, uh, to a 618 level right here. Take it off at that 27 level. Where you can see we're already below that. We're probably getting ready to get down to that level. Maybe it'll never give us another chance to get in, but I think it was worthy of a of a pretty good uh, uh, speculation, as you might might want to guess. Okay. Now the other one we have I haven't checked <clears throat> this morning. If you'll bear with me one second, we made a really nice move in hogs. And we protected our profit of, uh, of at least $1,300 in the hogs. So if you'll bear with me here one second, I will get this up here. Here it is right here. And we'll see how we're doing today. And it's still coming down. There it was yesterday. There was, a, there was the ABCD. I was, you know, we mentioned in the video that I think I sent a video on it. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, I, I think I did on the show here. Well, whatever I did. <laughs> anyway, that was an ABCD market uh, breakdown, broke down really hard today. And you'll see that the low was just below, uh, just just a little below, the, excuse me, right at the 786, right here, 7030. And now it's had a little bit of a rally back. So what we did was we put our stop right here. 
We sold them up here, okay, at 80, 84.90. We put our stop here at uh, 83, 82.90. So that locks in uh, a thousand, almost $1,000. Now, if you had covered it down in here, you'd add another 1500 to it. But that's what we're watching here uh, today. Now, so far this morning, it's gone a little above the 382, but not by much. I think it went right up to the, yeah, it went right up to the 50% level. Oh, it didn't even make the 50% level. So it's still looking uh, bearish. So we, we would like to stay with that uh, a, a little bit longer. Okay, so we'll take that off the board here. And now I want to talk about Tesla. I've had three requests for stocks to look at today. One, hold on one second, folks. <sighs> Can you bear with me just a second? Uh, I got to fix something here. Otherwise, I'm going to drive myself nuts. Okay. Here is uh, here's the uh, Tesla. Just give me one second. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm sort of embarrassed. I, Basil Chapman should be doing all this stuff uh, or Steve Rhodes because I don't do any stocks. I watch them because they're in the news and stuff. But this is Tesla. Uh, I'm going to put it up on our hourly because it jumps around so much. Uh, there's a Tesla. You know, we had this tremendous move, and now Elon Musk is going to be on the uh, cabinet for President Trump. So that'll be exciting. But so far, yeah, it was our high uh, 11th uh, with all these gaps in here. I mean, more, stop and thanks, folks. This was a Gartley pattern. God help us if you ever had one of these. But it's you know it's intraday, so uh, this was closed. But if you'd done it here, you'd have been really whacked, really bad. But you know sometimes that happens. But when the news, first of all, when you got earnings come out and a you know mega stock like this, the only way you can do this is with an option. And by the time this opened, your option would have been ex would have been worthless, probably twelve fifteen hundred dollars. Now so far today, all we've done is we've rallied up to a 61% retracement. We filled the first gap. We got another one to fill down in here. So we're going to find out what happens as we move through another one right here. Now, let's take this out and we're going to look at uh, Apple. And I've also been asked to look at Disney and also Caterpillar. So the next one we'll look at is Apple. And these are patterns, folks. It could be pork bellies. I wouldn't know what the hell it was. Now, here's Apple. Uh, it's actually making a nice counter trend move here. Uh, you can see here we've got an ABCD Gartley forming just about right now. So let's take a look at this. This is on an hourly chart. There's 11th, 12th, 13th. Here's where we are. And as you look at this, this is doing the same pattern we just saw in the S&P, setting right there. A little above the 618, but there it is right there. So that's it. Remember, we filled this gap in here. So that's what we're watching here with the Apple. The next one we're going to look at is Caterpillar. I've got a lot of other uh, stuff from the uh, Hello Operator. The, uh, ah, shucks. I can't think of it. Think of uh, Apple, Apple, Apple. Now, Caterpillar. Here's Caterpillar. And this has been coming down, and it is still coming down. Now, everybody that bought that after the election is not feeling very good. You're down 40 bucks. And look at this rally back right here. There's a really, really good example of the old 382, I believe. Let's look at it. AB equals CD equals 382. And we is going downtown to looks like 76. And wait, we fill this gap. Look at this, folks. We filled that gap. It took one, two, three, four days, but we filled it. Now we got another gap to fill. Let's take a break. 877. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Hey folks, this is the crude oil. I sent this out on a video last night. We were right here when I sent it out, and I said, if you see this A, B, C, D pattern up here at the 786, at 6880, that would be a good place to look for a short. Of course, market broke down quite a bit. There was your first 382 retracement. Now, it took an hour. This is 13-minute chart, so it took a complete hour to get there. And then we came down, and look at this, folks. We got two 1.618 expansions setting here at uh, basically 6,700. Uh, low was uh, 6,694, and down 2,000 bucks and up 2,000 bucks, folks. How? Uh, well, excuse me, down 1,900, up 1,800. So that's a that's one hell of a move for the day, and it looks pretty interesting too because one of the things we look at when we have a real strong trending market like this one. We'll just clean this up just a tiny bit so you folks can see it. We look for that first 382. As you can see here, there's no 382 retracement. Oh, there's your first retracement right here. Right there, those four bars. That's 13 minutes, so that's oh, 26, 46 minutes. So uh, that's where we are right here. Now, let's. I, I can tell by looking at it after looking at thousands of these, this is not a 382. It misses it by a great deal, folks. Five pips. This came in at 610. The 382 comes in at 6805. I don't know about you, but that's pretty close. So let's, uh, uh oh, something's wrong with the chart. Hold on, let me get this correct, folks. I'm gonna, I, I don't think that's correct because I just look at it with the eye. It doesn't look like it's correct. No, it's not correct. The 382 would have come here at 67.96, and the low was 68.10, so it missed it by 15 cents. And we still haven't got it, so I would be watching for that because this is a big, big reversal. All right, when you receive that much of a reversal, that's what you that's what you're looking for. Now, yesterday we had a perfect example of that that I haven't looked at yesterday, yet today. So bear with me here. I'm going to come up here and take a look at natural gas because it had one huge gap that we mentioned, and I'll be watching it here today to see what happened. Okay, here's natural gas. We have the big move, okay, the big move up. Now, what we want to do is we want to look to see where the 382 comes in. Now, there's your 1.618. There's your ABCD. There's your 1.618. There's your retracement today. 
Okay, so you got to you got to assume where it's going to be either three eight two, and the reason why you come down so much, you come down thirty, drop sixteen bucks, eighteen dollars, and let's see if it stopped. I can tell you it's not this one, so let's just check and see if it was this one. Okay, look at this at the old highs back here where it gapped out, came down to eighty two thirty, and look at this, it's rallied. Uh, well over two thousand dollars just by looking at that little a look at the how there's your old highs there's the breakout level from your low here makes a three eight two retracement takes this is an hourly chart folks took half the night to get that done and there it is right there and away it went now since it's done that let's just look at it on an eight minute to see if there was anything there that would have helped you so if you missed it on this one you wait for the next one Right, Johnny? Put that placard out there. And you'll know, bring this over like this. Put this over like that. And there it is right there. And from there, 88 to 02 is uh, $1,200. And now, guess what? We've got another correction, don't we? So let's see where we are. From our low right here up to the high. Uh-oh, this one comes down and stops at the... 50% level, but remember, we've got a lower load. we got to check that, but I can tell you right now that is not going to work because, uh oh, I shouldn't say that because just as soon as I say it, there it is, right there. There's your 382 off of the whole thing. You know, took a half an hour to get down here and it stopped right there. Got to look at this thing, folks. It's, uh, it's the most mysterious thing I have ever seen, and I have seen everything in the markets. I think I don't know much about them, but that's what I'm watching here as I look at some of these things going on in here. I want to talk just a second here. Market's not getting much uh, news, but this is the bond market, okay? Now, we're going to go and look at this on the hourly chart because you remember we bought that right here, okay? That was the, the pullback that we were waiting for. This was the 1.618 level, okay? Look at this, folks. We're getting ready to take that out at 115, and I don't think it's going to be hard to do that. There was your 382 this morning. There was a report. You were selling it at 116.31. It got to uh, 10, and your stop would have been right here. That had you know well over $1,500 in it. And not only that, but you'll see after it broke down, it rallied up one more time. Just look at this on a smaller time frame. We'll come back and look at it. There it is right there. Move it over. As you can see, there was my work that I was watching. Anyway, there's the 382 after the big break. All you had to do was wait for it. And wait for it, wait for it. Well, it went a little above it. Uh, well, the difference here is 15, is five pips, and then down she comes. Let's get back to that four-hour chart. Because we are going lower, boys and girls. This is not going to be good because interest rates are not going lower. They're going higher. Once we take this out, look at this on the daily, folks. This has got the kiss of death all over it. Look at this. See how nice that rally was? And look where it is now. We're going downtown, Freddie Brown. This is uh, this is very, very negative. I mentioned that in that video that I sent out. It was looking, uh, you know, really, really horrible. But, you know, that's like I say, sometimes it's uh, moving around a little differently than you might think. So those are the ones that we're watching here. Now I want to switch over for just a minute, and I want to talk a little bit about a trade that we were talking about. It's getting very close. That's in the soybean meal. And we'll get the uh, December soybean meal up here, and we'll put the we'll put the daily up because that's what makes it look so so attractive. And that's down at that 82 level. Uh, we got below. Did we break below nine? We got the 89. We got the 89 and change right now. We're a buck and a half higher than that. But this is where you want to be looking at it right here, folks. Uh, buying it at 282 with a stop. Buying it at 282 right here. And then you stop, you become a farmer. Oh, yeah, that doesn't work out well. You're going to buy it at 282, and your stop would be over here. So, ah, uh, God, I love this computer stuff. Anyway, that tells you what's, what you're looking for. Now, I'm a little, I'm, I see the ABCD that's here, and the 1.618 expansion is what I'm interested in on this because from your low to your high, that's what takes you down to that level that I want to be. Uh, buying it looks like it's 283, so I should be buying it at 284 because, uh, well, 283, and that's what I would 
Either way, 282, 283. Buy, buy this stuff, folks, because if you go back and look at this on the weekly, we haven't been back here since four years ago. This was COVID, all right? Look at this. This is where we are coming into this right now. This is a, this is getting below the cost of production on this thing. A lot of stuff is coming due, but it's not yet. It's within about eight dollars, and that's that's could happen today, could happen the next day, might not happen at all. That's what we have to remember because sometimes they work, sometimes they they don't. But look at today's high, folks. From your high back here, you'll never guess what that was. What was that? That's seven hundred dollars. There's another one right there. Holy moly, guacamole. Let's take a break. All right, and we'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I have to switch over to the trade. Uh, let's try it again, Larry. These are the treasury notes. You remember our ABCD here on the weekly? We talked about that back on uh, September the 12th. 
here we are now, two months later, and we're sitting right at this level right here, folks. We're here one, two, three days. So the bonds actually, let's move this over just a little bit, and I'm going to try to refresh this for the week and see if that, yeah, look at this. This is getting real close. I'm going to have to take a look at the bonds one more time. Uh, what, what we got to do here, this is either spot on and this is a dead cat rally like this, or this thing is getting ready to stop. My assumption is, you can see this rally here, how mild it was. This was the same thing. They're almost exactly equal. So that tells me that still might have some more. This would be a failure. See, it didn't stop at the 618. It certainly didn't stop at the 50%. If it doesn't stop here, holy moly, guacamole, we're looking at something pretty nasty. And when you look at this on the weekly, I said that's the most bearish chart you're ever going to see right up in here. And look where we are right now. And as we look at it, it's cleaner up a little bit just so everybody can see it. There's where we are. We'll get rid of this. And you'll see we have a lot of harmony coming in here because we have a market that has coming down. We know we're setting at the 78% level of this one right here. We're almost right there. Either we've hit it or we haven't quite. This one says we haven't quite hit it yet. That's 830. That's, ooh, that's another 13 pips, so pay attention to that. I'm going to put my beeper in on that. That's got to be a good one to look at. All right, now what's happened during that time the market came up in December, came down for four months into April, rallied up, and we're down two months. Okay, now these moves are very, very similar. Let me just show you how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to mark this off. That's the distance that it came down, all right? Now, as Andrew Lowe teaches, every market has repetition, and not only that, is predictable within limits. So that's the move down. And look where we are. We're coming in right to it again. So this is a really critical. I'm not nearly as bearish as I was before just looking at this because it hasn't really rallied very much, but you know it hasn't reached a final objective here. It's If we get below this level right here, which would be below 114 in the bonds, if we got below 114 in the bonds, then yes, this could be uh, something really nasty. But right now, it looks like it's going uh, quite a bit uh, lower. Now we're going to switch our gears, put our farmer's hat on, and take a look at the wheat. Here's where we had the 382 retracement. We went sideways for 10 days, folks. Could not, what would you do? Went right up and touched the 382 again right there at the 580 level. And that's where we were shorting, if you remember, for the, uh, that uh, that's the 11th, and uh, that's what we did, and now it's coming down here uh, pretty good. Now, we're trading right at the 786 of the low for the whole move. I mean, this is, you know, this is serious stuff, okay? So it's either Putin's going to be uh, not allowed to uh, bring grain out of there or not. But what I'll be watching is I want to take the weekly range here from this high to here. We're already below the 1.618. So this is telling you this market is still quite, quite bearish. So even though it's setting right there, right on the 0786 with the low today at 36, you have to risk a nickel. If you believe wheat's going higher, you can't trade it for anything cheaper than this, folks. You can buy it here at 541. The low here was 535, so you got to put your stop one tick below that at 536. Now, it's late in the day over there, so they're closing, so I'll maybe take a look at that uh, tomorrow. Now, the other one we have on, and it's been doing pretty good. I haven't checked it yet today. Hold on here a second, and we'll get it right up here. Hold on just a minute. Boys and girls, let's get up here and take a look at the old corn. Here is corn. And we sold that at 34. And it's at 26 right now, coming down, making new lows. So that's nice. We got an eight cent profit in it. At one time, we had $500. Now we have $400. So we're going to wait because our profit objective on this, this is when we sold it on the class that we had back here on the 8th. All right. Now, what we're looking for is a move to come right down here. All right, so we need it to come down another five, six cents, and we're going to be buying it right there. And not only that, we're going to be going long corn right there because three different reasons. One is A, B equals C, D, symmetry between these moves like this. And then the third reason is, is we've got some ratios coming in to look at. So let's look at them together. We'll get rid of this and clean it up a bit. So 
Everybody that gets confused looking at these things will not get too confused. That includes me. But there's the move that we're looking at. There's our low. So we got this move coming up in here. You see that's a 50% retracement of that one. I wonder what that low will be when we finally get to it. Okay, let's take a look. Well, boys and girls, I will be happy to pronounce to you that here we are at 421. That's well, we're going to say 422. We're going to be getting out of our short corn and go long. There's the A, B, C, D to the upside. There's the pullback. This is a 1, 3, 5 pattern. Now, because it's quite harmonic, we want to see if there's a place that tells us when that would happen. And that comes in based on this. It would be the uh, 17th or 18th in about five days. This came down one, two, three, four, five, six. This is down one, two, three, four, five, six. Would take you there. That would be Monday. It looks like. Yep, it sure would be. It'd be this around Friday or Friday or Monday. We should be here at 421. So a very interesting one to, uh, uh, you know, to really take a quick look at that. All right. Uh, that's what we're watching. I hope that's a big help to you, but it's a help to me because that's what I do. All right, let's take a look here at the old alarm clock here and at TFNN and see what we're doing as far as time. And we'll see where we are. We've got uh, one minute and 32 seconds. My goodness, that's a lifetime in Radioville. One other stock that somebody asked me about. Uh, never, well, I've got it on the book here, but I never look at it. Alibaba. It's finally had a move, folks. That boy did it have a move. If you remember, uh, oh, what's a guy dude's name over there? I can't remember. The, look, he, he didn't want to see. Look, it went from 320 to 60. He said, I'm not going to sell it there. I'm going to wait till it gets to 200. Well, this is what it's done so far. This was the Chinese New Year thing. Well, that big Chinese thing. You can see what we did here. Uh, I don't know if it made a, even made a one. Well, it didn't make a 1.618 of that, I'm sure. But. It had a bunch of things up here, and then we had all these gaps, and it's coming down right now. But, you know, from 320 down to 60, it can only rally to 18. So what we're going to do is look at this on the weekly just to see if there's a 382 anywhere in here. There's a couple up in here. Uh, I don't really see much, but let me just take a quick look. We'll be right back. Hold on just a second. There's one right there. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, this is the Chinese market, and of course, here's when they came out with their uh, program to stimulate buying and well. You can see they stimulated a lot, but then they gave it back. There was your 382 rally right there. That's a perfect uh, Gartley at that point. There's your X, A, B, C, D. There's your 382 comes in right there. And look at this, another gap down. This is when Trump was elected here. And, of course, uh, they assumed everything's going to be negative, and so far they're absolutely correct. But what I wanted to show you here is that when you look at this on the long-term weekly, that rally only made a 50% retracement of the high that we made way back here. Okay, that was way back in 2021. All that did was take you exactly to the 50% retracement of that move. You can see the ABCD. Now, with that power, you can see it happened to be a, a 2.618 move, but uh, that's it. Now, what we should do, we should go across the Bay of the South China Sea there to one of my favorite places in the world, my second home, Hong Kong. We're going to come up here and take a quick look at this up here. And you'll see here's Hong Kong. We're going to bring it up and we're going to look at it. The same thing has happened here. I pointed this out to some friends in Hong Kong the night of the thing that is making a ABCD 50%. And now you can see we've come down. We've, we've completed. We filled every single gap here, folks. Talk about gaps being filled. Now, this isn't trade all night long. That's why you see gaps in this thing. But almost all gaps be, has been filled. It's come into some port right in here. So we're going to find out if it's going to hold or not. But what we need to do is to look at this on a long-term weekly. And then you can see there was the big ABCD. It stopped at the 382 retracement of the high that we made way back in 2018. Now, if you think that's bullish, folks, uh, and look at this. It took out the highs of 2023 in January by a, a, almost nothing. I mean, just about, I think, how much was it? See, 27, 27, 27. Oh, my God. It took it out only 22,742 was this high. 22,740 was this high. 42 points in a running market like that. There's your ABCD right at your 382. This is not a pretty picture, folks. This tells you that this market still looks like it's going to be uh, going lower from uh, what I can tell. Okay, now. We've been asked to take a look at a commodity that I haven't seen in 100 years. Well, maybe 200 years. No, it's not that long. It's cocoa, coffee. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. Here's where we are right here. <clears throat> coffee has had a big run here today. Uh, you'll see here we had the big ABC. I haven't looked at this, folks, since Friday. So uh, last time I looked at it was down in here. Well, there's... This is Monday. This is Tuesday. So I, this is where I stopped it. Uh, 
Yeah, because yeah, this is this is just breaking out now. Uh, what I was looking for, move this over. I wanted to show you just a little bit more, because we had a really nice correction here. Didn't quite make the A B C D pattern. It really didn't quite do that. Now we had a beautiful three drive to a top pattern, and we had a pretty good correction, but it did not make the A B C D. Uh, I haven't seen this chart since uh, Sunday when I was doing the newsletter. But if you go back and take the low, that's the first thing you want to do, and mark up and see where the low came in. There, mark it right here. So look at this. There's your 382. It hit it once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times. And then look, it finally takes off. But boy, it had a lot of support here at the 382 of that move, telling you that it's probably looking pretty good. If we look at it on the weekly, you'll see that uh, we've been up here. Oh, this even shows this even better. Let's move over and take a look at this because there's your major low right here. And as you draw that up, Put it in there right there. There's your weekly 382 staying there all the time, and now you're ready to get up and uh, make new highs again, which uh, looks uh, you know pretty interesting. Okay, so by the way, those of you that uh, you know been following us in the gold and the silver, uh, you know we we got sort of lucky when we telling it should have been a top up there at 2801, but we've broken down all support now in the gold uh, considerably uh, below the 382 also so we'll have to re, re you know what let's don't say that to Larry let's make Larry prove that that's the case okay let's get up here and take it uh, I, it has broken because it's got below 65 yeah see it came down to the one point there's your ABCD there's your 1.618 again look at this thing's not even rallying at all so we look at this on the hourly basis and you can see here we're breaking down through everything all right and remember this is this is what we were looking for when we were looking to sell it up there at 2081 I think that was a four hour let's get that up there because that's where we were yeah there's your look at that number again boys and girls boy you got to pay attention to that one and you pay attention to it when it goes through it and look at this it just keeps going lower and lower and lower this is that little 382 we saw this morning and it just keeps dropping. So the only thing you can do now is go to your weekly chart. Because I'm still long-term, I'm very bullish the gold. So here's where we are. We had a really good correction in here. This was how much? This was about a hundred, about two hundred dollars. That was two hundred bucks. So that's a really important low. We're gonna blow this up and get rid of all these other little things that we don't need. That is the low right here because you come down. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty close. This is, uh, yeah, it, I'll have to take this one because it's lowest. But you can see that we are, I believe that gold's going to break at least $300, maybe more. Because you see now, 2601, once we went below that yesterday and today, telling you that we're heading, we're still heading lower. So that's why I would be, you know, really skeptical to be buying the uh, the gold here as of yet. And looking at it on the, it has good rallies. You know, there's no question about that. Look at this rally here. Just the other day, we rallied 250, we rallied $60 an ounce right to the 382. Of this whole thing actually came in at 50%. But there it is right there. 27.11 and boo 27.11 you're $120 lower folks you're $130 lower than the high up here at uh, the 1.618 which came in at 2801.60 so we're going to see if that's going to hold up aren't we well that we won't know that for a while will we but we're going to give it a chance anyway okay let's move on here for just a second here and uh, someone asked to take a look at cocoa I uh, we must have some people visiting from somewhere because no one ever asked for cocoa I watch it because it's had some tremendous moves here's one of them right here now let's just move at cocoa this is when cocoa was in the news ten thousand dollars a contract right there hey, excuse me eleven thousand eight hundred folks this darn thing had never been higher than uh, I, I don't remember on the long-term weekly but I think the average price of this was like 60 or something let's take a look at that weekly yeah the, this was the this was the average price look we broke into new high ground here it had never been that high before look what's happened look where we look what we've done here now we had a tremendous move here in cocoa let's get back to the daily and let's see why it had such a good move here today. Now, see, it didn't have. See, I, I did this on Friday. Let's take a break here. We're going to look here. All right. Hang in.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the Treasury bonds. As you can see, they haven't quite made the 61% retracement. You can see here, the 382 didn't stop it at all. And what we do know is that the last move that we had in the bonds was this much right about there. Okay, so I want to see what this next one should come down to. And there it is, a little bit below there, so real close. The 618 comes in at 20, excuse me, 114.21. We're a little more than one handle away. But remember, in the Treasury notes, we're about 20 points away. And they only trade, you know, half size. Uh, well, it's a big size for them, but because that's the largest of all the commodities. But watch this real closely. Well, I have to buy it there. Well, I don't have to, but it looks going to be real interesting at that point. But you got to be careful because the 50% held it for just a tiny bit. This hasn't got there quite yet, so we need to watch it very, very closely. What we were doing when we went along this past week, we were buying on that last little pullback right here. You see, we had the 382, and we said to buy it on this pullback right here, and we did. There was our first objective, and then after the market went up, we said raise your stop to 17. That was right there. So we made two points on this one and one and a half points on this one. And I don't know if you did any of the 382s on the sell, sell side or not. I don't know. But uh, those are things that we did point out and find out whether they're going to be helpful or not. Now, tomorrow, uh, let me see. I, I, 
I don't think I have a guest tomorrow, and I don't think I have a guest Friday, but that we'll still have a good time uh, no matter what. So those are the main things that we're watching here today. Remember, folks, we're in an era where you're having a lot of volatility with these folks in the stock market and stuff. And all these gaps that you're seeing and all these charts, I firmly believe, will be filled. But who knows? See you tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Bye.